so hello everyone in this video we are going to see uh, how to create a data pipeline in uh, data fusion so we are going to use the data fusion service of uh, google cloud platform and how we can create a data fusion pipeline where we can extract the data uh, from any of the databases. So here I'm going to use the MySQL instance, which is available in the cloud SQL, Google Cloud SQL. But using these steps, you can connect to any of the databases and you can keep in any on-premises MySQL databases as well. So how to do that setup? So that is the main uh, intention, main uh, focus on this video, how to create that connection with any of the databases. And then how to extract the data. And then we can, we'll, we'll be doing the data transformation using the uh, Wrangler plugin, which is available in the Google Cloud Fusion. And then those transform data we are going to see, uh, sorry, we are going to load those transform data on the BigQuery table. So that is what we are going to do in this data fusion pipeline. So I have already created a uh, MySQL instance here on the Google Cloud SQL. And I have created the databases as you can see here. So I'm going to connect with this my database. And I'm going to extract the data from this my database, uh, uh, whatever the tables are there. So from that, table, those tables, I'm going to extract the data. I have created the data fusion instance. I'll be going to the data fusion instance. So mainly when you are going to connect with any of the database uh, system, any of the database source. So you need to uh, upload a driver plugin. So for example, right now we are going to connect with the MySQL instance, right? So if I go to the hub page of the data fusion, I from the hub, I can download the plugins, not only for MySQL or any of the connectors, if a plugin is needed, you can go to the hub and you can download the respective plugins from the hub, uh, data fusion hub page. So that is what we are going to do. Once the plugin is downloaded, I will be uploading this plugins and using that I can create my connection. Because when you are going to create a data fusion, when you are going to uh, the login. So when you are going to use the data fusion instance, by default only uh, the connection will be available for GCS bucket and for the big bit. But if you want to connect to any other sources, any other databases, you need to create the setup. You need to do the setup to create the connection. So that is what we are going to see. I will go to the studio as usual. You can go to the studio and we can start creating our pipeline. So once I'll go to the studio, so I can drag and drop a my SQL login. And here I'll go to the properties. On the properties, uh, I'm going to use the connection. Right now, I don't have any connection, but I, I'll have to create. So what I'll do, I'll go to the, uh, oh, okay, fine. Let me go to the connection. I'll click on add connection. I need to go to the uh, out and from here, so right now, as you can see, I'm using the MySQL 8.0 version. So I will be searching for uh, the plugin for similar version of MySQL here. So this is the JDBC driver plugin for 8.0. So once I select the plugin from the hub, uh, you can see all the steps are mentioned here. So you need to download the plugin and from where you can download. So the link is already given. 
you need to go to the mysql.com website and from there you can download you don't need to log in also you can just uh, start the download once the plugin is downloaded the next step is you need to unzip the file which you have downloaded and then in the next stage you need to upload the jar file you need to upload the jar file so this is the jar connector file which you need to upload so let me finish and uh, I will upload here. I'll go to my downloads folder and I will just extract the file. Okay. And uh, I'm going to upload the file. So this is a jar file which I need to upload. And this is the connection name. You can see. Uh, I'll just keep it as it is. I, I'm not going to change it. And then I'll go ahead and finish this setup. Once this setup is completed, you will be able to see the connection is available for your MySQL. So uh, connection is not yet available. I need to create the connection. But before that, I need to upload this uh, jar file. So let's uh, wait and you can see the jar file is uploaded. Now I'll go to uh, create a connection using the jar file which I have uploaded. So as I told, you can also use the MySQL instance if you have uh, set up the MySQL instance in the on Uh You can also use that. So uh, it will be again, the plugin and then I'll go ahead and uh, I will use the connection click on add connection and database my SQL so as you can see the JDBC driver name is now extreme I'll give the connection name as let's say uh now sql and the host name is the public ip address of your mysql instance uh, so you can go to my so my, this is my public ip address and i will copy the public ip address I put here host name i will give it as it is and then the user name is the root and the password also I have set up for my SQL instance. And then once I have uh, put all the details, I click on test connection. So let's see if the connection is successful or not. So if it's showing the successfully connected, then I'll click on create the connection. So now the connection is created. I'm going to choose this connection on my SQL plugin. Uh, the data reference name I'll give again some reference name and then the database name is my database which i was showing you earlier uh, so this is my database name or, or else you can just click and browse the database and you will be able to see all the databases and i'm going to extract the data from one of the table uh, the employee table which i have already created on this database and you can see based on my query it has imported all the columns from this employee table uh, i'll click on validate so there is no error and next i'm going to transform this data so I'll feed the data to the data wrangler and I'll click on wrangler. So here again, I will select uh, the connection which I have already created. As you can see the connection. Yeah. So right now it is uh, selected and I'm using this database and I'm using this table, employees table. So once the data is imported to the data ranker UI, you can apply your transformation, right? So let's say I want to change this data type to load, I can do that. 
or else uh, last name, last name, employee ID, department name is. Let's say I want to change the department the format to upper case. You can do that and I apply this to transformation and I'll validate all the transformations. That is fine or not. Then I'll close it and finally what I'm going to do. I'm going to store the data in one of the BigQuery table. So I'll be using the connection. I will use the BigQuery connection for this project. And let's say BigQuery data fusion. I'll browse the data set. Uh, let's use the data fusion demo data set and inside this data set I'm going to create a new table so let's say the table name is CMP data fusion demo and also you can put the temporary bucket name and all so I'm going to truncate the table every time I will be running the running my pipeline or I will move data to the table so once the error there is no error so the next step is before deploying, so I can give a name to my pipeline. So let's say cloud SQL tool query. And uh, the pipeline is saved. Now we can uh, deploy the pipeline. But before de deploying the pipeline, if you want to do a test run of your pipeline, you can go to the preview option. And here we can run the pipeline just to check whatever the config details we have put, all the details are correct or not, and the data is flowing from the input to the output source or not. Uh, so when you are doing the dry run of the pipeline, it's not going to create any resources. It's not going to load the table as well. It will just do the uh, preview run or dry run of the pipeline just to validate all the config details and all other details, the schema details, source table or source file details, everything is correct or not. So if there is any error, uh, you get that error as well in, in this log, you'll be able to see the error. So this way we can validate our pipeline before deploying the pipeline. So when we are going to deploy the pipeline, so now the uh, write is completed. Now we can go ahead and deploy our pipeline. So once we'll deploy the pipeline, the pipeline is going to create the resources in the background. So uh, the data fusion pipeline, they use the data block cluster for the computation. So let me change the number of size uh, the, of the disk size and as well as the worker node size. I will save and now I can uh, save the con I can run my pipeline. My pipeline is deployed. I can do the I can run my pipeline. So in the background, it's you can also see the data proc cluster which it is going to create. Once you go to the data proc, you'll be able to see the data proc cluster. Right now, the status has changed to provisioning. It is going to create the data proc cluster once the cluster is created the pipeline will start running. So structures will change to running and then it will change to subsidiary. So the clusters which it will, it's going to create, the data flow clusters are ephemeral cluster and those clusters will be also deleted once the pipeline is subsidiary. So I'll just fast forward my video uh, till the pipeline is subsidiary and we'll then validate uh, whether the BigQuery table is created or not, and the data is loaded properly to the to the BigQuery tables or not. Okay, so I forward the video. So as you can see, now the pipeline is succeeded, and uh, uh, we can also validate. We can we will go to the BigQuery. So uh, this is the data set which we use, and we show this is the table where we store our data, and we can see the all the records are loaded in the table properly okay and the transformation is, uh, are also working so we can validate that
So that's all for this video. So the main focus of this video was to uh, show how we can connect, how we can create a connection with any of the database. Okay, so thank you.